Okay, I'm going to scam bait these guys. I've actually, um, just in case anyone wonders how I come across these websites, now, this is one way I do. Um, this website's safe to visit and it's pretty accurate, maybe not 100% accurate, but most of the results are scammers. Some are legit. Um, this one here is one of the results. So just to confirm whether or not they are legit or scammers, I will actually scam bait them because it's not an actual pop-up. I can't be certain if they are scammers just by looking at their website. It does look pretty dodgy. Um, it's got all the you know the telltale signs. The address is just Australia. You know it has this um, pretty dodgy look about it. But um, and if we do a who is. Um, we come up with the results there, which to me look a little bit dodgy as well. But the only way to be 100% certain is to scan bait them. I'm just going to give them um, this and say, that, you know, obviously I'm entering the incorrect password. But we'll just close that down and that down so that they don't suspect me of scan baiting them. And um, we'll give them a call. Thank you for calling Technical Support. How may I help you today? Yes, hello. Um, I'm having some trouble with my Hotmail account. I was hoping I could get some help, please. Uh huh. So, what are the issues you're facing? Um, I just can't log into my Hotmail account. No worries. Um, I'll help it out for you, okay? Okay. So, may I know your first name, sir? Um, my name's David. So, David, when did you purchase the software? Um, I, I haven't purchased any software. I've just got um, trouble logging into my Hotmail account. Okay. So, you're facing error while you're... Yeah, when I try to log into my Hotmail. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No worries, no worries. So, David, may I know your last name also? It's Jones, J O N E S. Okay. And just you, you need to be there with me, okay? Yep. Yeah. Just be there. Okay. So, can you please elaborate, I mean, what kind of issues you're facing while you're on your Hotmail? Uh, well, I can't actually log into my Hotmail account. I keep saying my password's uh -huh. incorrect. Okay. So, whenever you try to enter your, uh, what, it, what error does you face? Uh, it's just saying your account or password is incorrect. So what I'll do for you, Mr. David, I'll go ahead and see like why you're facing this error while you're logging to your account, okay? Okay. Yeah. Just tell me one thing, Mr. David. Are you using a Windows or a Mac machine? It's a Windows 8 computer. It's Windows. Okay. So what I'll do from myself, um, I'll check this error from my side from Hotmail so that I can assist you better, okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so what you need to do is just look at your keyboard, Mr. David. Yeah. Just look at your keyboard. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what you need to do is you need to look at your keyboard and at the very bottom, you can see the window key. Uh, yes. Can yeah, what you need to do is you need to press and hold down the window key and along with that you need to press letter R, R as in Romeo. Okay. Do that at the same point of time, okay? Yes. I've, yeah. Uh, yeah, something's come up on the bottom of the screen, um, something about type the name of a program, folder, document or internet resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What you need to do is you need to type in over there on the empty space, just type there. Yep. www dot. Yeah. Help me. Yep. 
Should I spell it for you? Um, no, I've got it. Help me, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, help me dot net. Okay, yeah. M E T. Okay. Yeah, it's Nancy Echo Tango. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Now you need to click on OK. OK, yeah. It says Anna William yeah, has yeah, invited yeah. you. So I click on yeah. yes. Yeah, you need to click on yes. Yeah, so now release your mouse. OK. Release yeah. your mouse. Too. OK. Uh -huh. Release your mouse. Uh -huh. You can't see this cursor revolving around your computer screen? Yeah, I can see the cursor moving. Is that you? Yeah, Casper, yeah. Yeah, yeah sir. This is me, the technician, who's just walking in your computer screen. Okay? Okay, yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. And before we go further, I want to share some important information with you. Sorry, what was that? Okay. Some what information? Yeah, sir. What I want to tell you is that this is only a one-time sharing permission in the whole session. You are going to be the primary controller of this session, okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So just be online. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sir. So just do one thing for me. Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Just try to log in your email over here. Okay, hang on. It's um uh -huh. down here. I already tried. Um, okay. It's um. It just um won't let me in. Okay, so you're not able to log into your account, right? No, that's correct. I can't get into it. Yeah, it says that your account or password is incorrect. If you don't remember your password, so the password you are entering over here. Uh huh. Hello. Yeah, yeah I'm still here. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, it's, I just don't know what to do. Um, I can't mm -hmm. get into my email. Okay. So, this is what you're facing. Like, you're not, uh, uh, you're not able to, you know, open your email. So, this is what, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's correct. I just can't get into it. Yeah. Okay, sir, it, it might happen that you have some kind of bar files or some kind of junk files so that this, this is why you're not, you know, able to log into your account. Okay. So the reason could, yeah, sir, yeah, exactly it is. So that's why you're not able to, you know, open this, your email. Okay. So, no worries, what I'll do for you, I'll go ahead and diagnose this, like why you're facing this error, okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you need to just be there for me. Okay. Just be there and don't mind my silence, okay? Yep, okay. Okay. Just, yeah, just don't touch your mouse now. Don't okay. touch it. I'll do it for you. Okay, yeah. Thank you. And just be on call. Okay, no yeah. worries. Yeah, sir, are you there with me? Uh, yes, I'm here. Hello? Yes. Yeah, sir, yeah. So this is my, yeah, sir. So okay. this is the toll-free number. If the call gets disconnected, you can call in this number. Okay. As well as, hello, yeah. my name is Lisa, and this is my employee ID, okay? Yep, okay. Yeah, so before we go further, this is my introduction to you. And what I'll do next for you, I'll check that why this kind of, you know, uh, impacts are incoming in your email so that you're not able to log into your email, okay? Okay. Just, yeah, you need to just be there with me. I'll check it out why this, you're facing this error. Okay, yep. Yeah, so you need just be there with me, okay? Yeah, I'm here. Uh 
Okay, you see in the D box. I'm guessing the tree command's going to come up next. I've got her muted so she can't hear me. I can hear someone typing on a keyboard on the other end, so she's typing something. Yeah, hello? Uh, yes, hello? Hello? Yes, I'm um, here. This is the command prompt which I have run in your computer screen so that I can check it out, like, why these uh, are the errors you're facing in your computer. And okay. this will going to tell us that how many junk files do you have so that you're facing this error due to this, okay? Okay. Yeah, sir. So these are the error commands which I've prompted in your computer. And from this, you can see that I'm at in the middle. Okay, yeah, what's that? You uh, can see this in the middle. Yeah, yeah I yeah. can see that. So do you know, know the meaning of that in the middle, sir? Um, no, I, I don't, sorry. What's that? It's, uh, Okay, no worries. I'll make you understand this, okay? okay? Just bear with me. Yeah, sir. And may I know, sir, um, through this Wi-Fi, you're using Wi-Fi at your home, right? Um, I've got cable connection on my laptop. Okay. Okay. And how many uh, devices are connected with the same Wi-Fi, sir? Uh, well, I've got a phone and a tablet that use the Wi-Fi. It was strange. Um, the phone call got disconnected. I don't know if she hung up on me. I'm trying to confirm well, if I'm legit call. I'll give her a little while to call back. Um, I'll call that number there. It's a different number. So we'll call 1 800 992 Yes, um, hello, my name is David yeah. Jones, the phone call got disconnected. Uh, yeah, yeah, the call got disconnected, so I was calling you back. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, David, so where were we? Um, yeah, I was just running a scan on your computer so that yeah. you can see that what kind of errors you're facing in your computer, right? Yes. Yeah, sir. So I was telling you that man in the middle, right? Yes. So man in the middle is a kind of attack which I found in your computer. And you can see this computer, sir. And yeah. you can see this web also. Yeah. So there is a direct connection between the computer and the web, okay? And yeah. this is the original connection in which two parties are involved. But if the third party is involved in any kind of these connections, this is known as man in the middle. So you've got man in the middle in your computer, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So apart from this world, do free, I'll check it out, like why this error has been comes up in your screen so that you're facing this error in your computer, okay? Yeah, okay. So just do tell me one thing. Uh, do you, do you, uh, are you using Wi-Fi at your home? Uh, yeah, I've got Wi-Fi for the phone and tablet, but I use cable for the laptop. Okay. And how many devices are connected with the same? Oh, that's three all up. I've got, the, yeah, like I said, the phone, tablet, and laptop. There's three devices. Okay. And apart from you, who other uses this computer, sir? Um, just me, I'm the only user. Huh? So you are the only person who uses this computer, right? Yes. Okay, no worries. Well, I'll do free. I'll go ahead and check other problems also, okay? Okay. Yeah, just be there with me. Yeah. So you can see over here. Uh, yes, I see. Yeah. See yeah. You can see yeah. this very fast one, this local address. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you can see this 10.0.2.15. Yeah, I see that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, may, uh, may I know one thing? Do you know the meaning of IP? 
uh, something to do with the internet, isn't it? Right, 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 right. So it is, uh, this one is your internet protocol address. And you can see over here this foreign addresses too. Yeah, I see them as well. Yeah, what are they? Yeah, as well as, uh, yeah, sir. And you can see over here the state also, right? Um, yeah, I see the state, yep. Exactly, exactly. So you can see over here, sir, that these foreign addresses they are trying to establish in your network. As well as these are the addresses which have been established in your computer. Okay? Okay. Right. So may I know how much old this machine is? Uh, is it's a brand new one or no, old one? It's about one and a half years old. Our one and a half year old machine, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. And just tell me one thing, sir. Like, for what purpose do you use this computer? Uh, I'll check my emails, check Facebook, okay. you know, do the Google a bit, watch some okay. YouTube videos as well. Okay, so do you use this computer for any kind of office use? I mean... Um, no, uh -huh. it's just home use. I buy a bit of stuff off eBay though, do a bit of internet okay. um, banking. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, do you do any kind of online shopping or banking from yeah. this machine? Yeah, that's what I just said. I buy a lot of crap off eBay that I don't need and do a bit of internet okay. banking as well. Okay, so you do online shopping as well as online uh -huh, yeah. banking from this computer, right? Yeah, yeah, buy a lot of crazy stuff off eBay. Uh, okay, you can see over here this laptop, right? You can yeah. see over here? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, this was you who has uh, established this connection with this. And you can see over here that these are the connections which have been established in your computer and... Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And that is not you, right? Because okay. these are the connections which have been established by you, but these are the connections which are not established by you. Okay? Okay, I didn't know that. Are they hackers yeah. or something? Uh-huh. So these are the foreign addresses who have tried to connect with you. Okay. You can see over here. Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, sir. As well as you can see the state that they have been established in your computer as well. Okay. This is because whenever you go with, you know, some unsafe uh, website, right? Okay. And as you said that, okay. Just do tell me one thing. Do you use this computer for watching like, do you use this computer for any kind of pornographic website? Um, well, I believe porn is a sin, so I don't watch pornography. Okay. So, you haven't used this computer for that, right? No, I don't watch pornography. It's watching pornography is a sin. Okay. Okay, uh, just be there with me and just let me check over this, okay? Okay. Yeah, just be there with me. Okay, sure. So, hello? Yes, I'm yeah, still here. David. Yes. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Just tell me one thing. Uh, the Wi-Fi you're using at your home, how many devices are connected with the same Wi-Fi, sir? Um, there's three. I've got a phone, tablet, and this laptop. Okay. So only two devices are connected with this Wi-Fi? Yeah, the, there's the tablet and the um, phone through the Wi-Fi okay. and this laptop the through the cable. The tablet and this laptop, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, you're the only user of this machine, is it? Yes, that's correct. Okay, sure. So it might, uh, it might be possible that whenever you go online or you visit some any kind of unsafe website, so some bad link make up may come up in your screen and you have clicked those bad rings uh-huh okay yeah sure right and uh, you may have clicked those links knowingly or unknowingly so that uh -huh. yes okay yeah yeah, sure, yeah. So this is the only problem 
uh, okay, no worries. I'll do I'll do one thing for you. I'll check it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just be there. Okay, sir. So what I'll do best for you? Yes. Mr. David. Yeah, sir. These are the infections which are not in your computer. These are uh, in your network. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sir. So what I'll do best for you? I'll transfer this call to my network security team. Okay. Right? Yep. Yeah, just be that way. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for holding the line. I truly appreciate your patience. I believe that I'm talking to David Jones, right? Yes, that's correct. How are you, sir? Uh -huh, I'm doing good. Okay, now before I go ahead and, uh, okay, make a diagnostic report, I would like to give you some important details of mine, just in case we get disconnected. Okay. That's my name, Summer. Okay, yeah. That's my line number. Okay, and I believe the technician has already given you the toll free number as well. I'm giving the alternative number as well. That's okay. the network security in your team, okay? Okay. Okay, this All is right, the number, number for the network security. Yeah. Okay. Right, so basically what you are facing, right, there are certain kind of unwanted bad files that might have sneaked in uh, either from some bad links that you might have visited in the past or via email through certain spam or junks. As we know, so the spam and junk mails, right, these are the unwanted mail, right, that yeah. we receive from the anonymous person that we are not familiar with. Now, we never know what kind of uh, file these spam and junk mails are carrying along with it, right. So there is a possibility that certain unwanted bad files that might have came in and what it has done, it has uh, breached the security. Like there are certain encryptions to hide your IP address, to secure your login details and the passwords and it might have piece of security. For that reason, I'll just go ahead and check your task manager first. Okay. And apart from this computer, uh, have you got any other devices, like any other computer laptop that is connected with the same private network? I've like, what about your phone? Yeah, I've got a phone. I'm sorry? A I've got a phone and a tablet as well. Okay. okay, that's the worst part. Now, over here, take a close look over here, sir. Now, okay. whatever uh, devices that you have, right, and whatever uh, files, you can see these are all .exe files. These are the, okay, system files. Yeah. These are the, okay, these are the process. Yeah. Okay. Or the registry file that is responsible for the proper functioning of the software that is installed on your device. Okay. Now over here, if you take a close look, right, there are some csrss.exe file as well. You can yeah, see yeah, I see them. Right. Now it's coming all the way from the server. Can you see this description client server runtime process? What does it mean? It's not the permanent file of your computer. It's not the inbuilt file. Okay. okay. It's a, it is a, a foreign elements that might have came in, right? Okay. And not necessarily the pornographic website, sir. You can also get the infection from those kind of links that gives you the free access to download anything from the internet, to watch anything for free, to play any games for free, right? So that's okay. the basic difference between the paid link and the free link. Okay, because with the uh, free link, you also invite certain unwanted bad files that could be fatal for your data, that could be fatal for your online stuffs. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, uh, have you got any idea? Like, have you ever heard about this file? Like, have you ever come across this file? Just take a look. No, I haven't. CSRS. No, I don't All right. know what that is. For that, I'll just, I just, I'll just use the best search engine. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use the Google because that's the safe and secure one. Oh, okay, what's wrong with Bing? And uh, yes, and who else uses computers, sir, apart from you? Uh, just me. I'm the only user. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Okay. Right, that's the Google. Okay, now I'm just yeah. typing over here the keyword C S R S S. Okay, I'm sorry, I spelled it wrong. It's C S R S S. Right? Yeah. The moment I enter the keyword, the very top source that you can find that CSRSS.exe chosen. Okay? okay? Now, here comes the difference. Here comes the difference between 
and the ordinary uh, infections and some malicious ones, right? Okay. Virus is a very common infection. That's the reason, right? Like uh, there is a lot of con uh, consumptions in the market for the antivirus. There are lots of consumer for the antivirus because virus can corrupt your the operating system, okay? okay? And uh, it can corrupt your files, your softwares. But if you talk about the Trojans, these are designed for the malicious activities, like to get hold of your online stuff that you browse over the browser. Okay. Now, the worst part is it's a hidden monitoring software. Okay. Like it cannot be tracked, like whether this is present in your device or not. Can you see this? Yeah, and the presence that. of this file, okay, that you cannot simply detect it. It's a hidden monitoring software. Now, as I've, uh, as I've already mentioned that it can target your email address and there are certain encryptions for login details and the passwords, right? If it's breached the security, it can expose your online stuff, okay? okay. And uh, one more thing I'd like to show you, IP. IP stands for Internet Protocol and it defines the route, it defines the, your location, like where exactly your device is located, right? Now, there are certain... Um, uh, protocols that every device has to follow like it defines the path uh, like where the information should go from your machine to the uh, receiving server right now even though if you will throw this computer if you're gonna buy a brand new computer well, what's gonna be the scenario that uh, IP address is tracked by the satellite okay. all right so you cannot simply change it from your own okay so okay. let me go ahead and show you are you getting me sir what I'm trying to say like are you following me sir yeah. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate. It. Now over there, I just uh, typed in the in the address bar. Okay, cmyip.com. That's yeah. the internet service provider. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's the country that you're calling from. That is Australia. Yeah. And this is your IP, like where exactly yeah. your device is located. As you can see, it's linked with your physical locations. You can see this. Yeah. So what basically we have to do, we have to hide it, like where your device is located, just to make sure that no third party or no persons can get uh, himself in the middle of your device and the server okay okay and one more thing I would like to check for that we have to put in some high-end securities okay I'll let you know later on but for time being let me just go ahead and check the environment of your computer okay. the health of this computer to the software environment okay and it can uh, fetch any information about your device okay, okay system yeah. summary and I'll just check the software environment for you. All right. As you can see over here, that's the system information, right? If you take a close look, these are the whole list of the of software that is installed on your device. That's the description of what it does. A number of them are drivers. You can see this? The majority of them are the drivers. You can see that? Okay. And, okay. Uh, right, if you just scroll it to the right you can read this status over here that stop 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 okay oh, so yeah. you the operating system of your device can shut down at any point of time you may lose your machine but i'm not concerned about your device device is just a medium through which you perform your online activities right okay. now my concern is your online activities your data right your locations your identity as we can see over here in the error control there are some critical elements as well you can okay. see that I'm the one I'm highlighting for you, critical, critical, oh, okay. right? Yeah. And that's not the part of your computer, sir. That's not the part of your computer. It has assimilated itself in the software environment to corrupt the inbuilt software. You can see this? All these critical items are over there. Okay, yeah. And I will let you know that how to identify whether the website that you choose to browse that is safe and secure or not. Okay, bear with me, okay? Okay. Just bear with me, yeah. Like, have you ever encountered uh, situations like, um, like when you try to uh, send an email, right? Certain interruptions, or when you try to download and when you done any transactions, like, did you face any weird, like, weird incident? Have you ever gone through it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I get a lot of weird stuff on this computer. I don't know what much about computers. I've just written over here, MS config, that's the system configurations, right? And okay. you can see over here the list of the services. Yeah. And uh, these are all manufactured by the Microsoft itself, okay? Yeah. Now, you can read this data. It's not responding. Stop. And, okay, you can see this. My yeah. concern, see, bit 
Locker Drive Encryption Service yeah. that encrypts your IP address, that oh, encrypts okay, your data. That's not responding. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, I, I would like to know, sir, the, what kind of online activities that you do apart from emailing? Like you do um, like online shopping, banking, or uh, paying. You, do you do pay bills online through BP? Yeah, yeah I pay bills oh. online, do internet banking, yeah. internet shopping. Right. Okay, okay, all right. So we have to put some high insecurities now, okay? As you had just mentioned that you do some sensitive stuff as well. I'm okay. going to prepare a diagnostic report first. Okay, yeah. The very first thing that we need to go ahead and perform, you to go ahead and go, okay? To the proper cleanup and tune up. Not just your device, mm -hmm, but the gate as well, that's the browser, okay? Yeah. And last but not the least, that's your network. Now the things that needs to be expelled out, okay, that needs to be blocked, that needs to be wiped out, okay, it includes csrss.exe, okay, yeah, which is the root cause of all sorts of trouble that you're facing at the moment. Okay? All right. Right. Now, since it's a hidden monitoring software, so we have to install an anti-software for this, okay? Okay, anti-monitoring software, is that what you need? Yes, and, and we need to, and not only we have to clean up this, but we need also need to block it. Because even though if I will clean up your computer, and the moment you're going to access your email, or you, the moment you're going to do any online information, uh, online um, activities, right, it will come back again. So we need to block them as well, okay? Now, okay. The previous technicians also mentioned that there are some traces of unwanted bad connection. There are some man in the middle yeah. who might have tried to get into your IP, okay? Yeah. These unwanted bad connections is removed. Chunk files and the temporary files that might be responsible for the slowdown for the, okay, of your computer. Yeah. That also needs to be wiped out, okay? Now, the security that I'm talking about, these are not the ordinary security, as I mentioned, and that's the reason I've asked, like, whether you do any sensitive stuff or not. So, the very first thing that we need to install that is the VPN security. Okay, yeah. VPN security, it's a virtual private network security, and yeah. it makes sure that your IP address remains protected, remains hidden, okay? okay. Like, uh, if some third party try to uh, get hold of your IP address, they won't be able to decode them. They won't be able to uh, identify where exactly you are located. All right? Yep, okay. This VPN security, okay, yeah. that will protect your IP address. And in doing so, it will protect your network and your devices as well. Okay. okay? Yeah. Now, then we need to protect your online information. As you have mentioned that you do VPN and all. Yeah. Okay? So we need to put some uh, encrypted link. This SSL layer, what basically it does, it gives you the encrypted link between your machine and your server. It gives you the encrypted link, right? So whatever um, okay. online data that you're sending to the server, that will be in an encrypted manner. That will be in the machine language so that nobody can intercept it, nobody can, okay? Get okay, hold of them. Yeah. And the last but not the least, that should be the network firewall. Yeah. Network access protection. Okay. To keep away the incoming bad connections and the bad file, irrespective of the fact that whether you are getting spyware, chosen, worms, or any unwanted software, okay? And like any other software, these are also the manufactured products, okay? And we have also, uh, we also are required to put some Norton as well. Okay, yeah. Norton Premium for a certain validation period, right? Yeah. Now, these securities, yeah, we need to purchase it, okay? And uh, first of all, it will take somewhere around 40 to 60 minutes. This is the estimated time, but it may take more or less, okay? okay. And a few things that you need to take care of. Doesn't matter that whether you are uh, using your phone for your email or your tablet, okay? You have to make sure that the moment you receive the spam and junk mails, okay, do not open them, first of all. And okay. you're required to get rid of them instantly, okay? All right. And then the padlock. This is a very important one, sir. This is a very important tip. Like, a number of, uh, millions of websites are visited on a daily basis by millions of users, right? And uh, you, 
okay, you should know that um, the website that you choose to browse, whether that is a safe and secure or not. For that, you have to look into the address bar, okay? Can you find a padlock, a padlock? Can you yeah. see this? There is a padlock. Yeah, I see that. Right. Like it protects, like the ordinary lock, okay, that's the materialistic one, okay, that uh, protects your shop, that protects your home. In the same manner, this one makes sure, right, that this is a legit one, okay, this one is a safe and secure one, all right, yeah. and you're not supposed to receive any kind of malicious one, right? You can okay. find this padlock with all the brands like Google, Facebook, YouTube, Yahoo, and there are certain bogus links as well which we accidentally click on, right? There are certain advertisements which keeps come, coming up on the screen asking you to click on that deliberately, right? So you can route the infections by that. And okay. uh, one more thing you can do, sir, we, we will install the Google Chrome and we'll put the new private window over there and you can use the new private window for your sensitive stuff like banking and all. All right? Okay. All right. Now I'm writing over here the plans for you, okay? The minimum and the maximum one, right? Yeah. Minimum. For the complete one year, Okay, the ever security that I have mentioned, that's VPN, SSL, Network Firewall, Network Access Protections, and the Norton Premium, right? Yeah. For the complete one year, it will co uh, protect your current devices, your online stuff, your IP address and everything, all right? You get the one year of back-end support as well. Yeah. And that will cost you somewhere around $349.99. And the maximum time period <laughs> you can get for the five years, for the five years, okay, yeah. you can breathe a sigh of relief for your current devices plus new devices. Irrespective of the fact whether you're using Windows device, whether you're using Apple device, whether you're using computer, tablet, Kindle, whatever, uh, any device that has got anything to do with the private networks, okay, it will remain safe and secure because virtual private network security that can be upgraded on the best based on the number of devices that you have got. All right. Okay. And you will get, okay, the support for the 10 years. That's the best part. All right. Like if you face any issues that can be resolved for the complete 10 years. Okay, yes. And that's going to cost you, yeah. okay, $599.99 Australian dollars. Okay. Got it? Yeah. And uh, if you talk about the documents regarding the payments, first of all, you will get the proof of the payment that is the transaction receipt that how much amount is that is uh, transacted from your account. You will get the premium toll free number and you'll yeah. get the proof of the services as well. Okay. And your case ID. All right. Yeah. And with your permission, sir, I would like to connect your IP to the Microsoft Secure Server before I go ahead and install all these required products. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. You just. Yeah. Just give me a quick one. Okay. Right. And I would like to know, sir, that which one would like to go for for the one year or the five years, sir? Um, well, the five year looks like it's a better value. Five I'll go the five year, please. Five year, that's great, sir. Yeah. Now, the response that you're getting from this IP that belongs to the secure server, as yeah. you can read at the top as well, it's a secure server that is running now. Yeah. Now, I would like to take uh -huh. some important details of yours before I go ahead. Okay. I would like to take the name, your yeah. email address, yeah. your best possible phone number, and your billing address okay. as well. Okay. Yeah. You can go ahead and write all this information to yourself using your own keyboard. So thank you very much. And I would like to know that which card you will be using, whether it's going to be a debit or credit. Um, I've got a credit master card. Credit master. Okay. Yeah. I would like to take the numbers. Okay. Expression. CVV. And how does your name reflect on the card? Okay, okay. yeah. Yes, thank you very much. And one more thing I would like to give you, sir, that your security code. Okay. Your security. Like if someone rings you in the future and if they put that they're calling from Microsoft, from the Northern, or from any other security <coughs> department, before uh, letting them to access your device, please do ask the security code. Yeah. Okay? That is Web9654. Let me just forward all this information to my backend team. Yeah, okay. In a moment. 